Hello, YouTuberinos! It's me, Scotty G. It's been a long time, I've missed you all, and today I'm gonna answer your questions live on the interweb. Oh yeah, baby, let's get to it! So first question is from a Big Maku, the Makako, the Maka. Anyway, this guy asks, Dear Scotty G, is it true that you had one of your ribs surgically removed to make it easier to suck your own dick? Haha, <laughs> joke's on you, pal. I don't even have a dick. BNB says, Dear Scotty G, how many current brain cells do you have? More than you, buddy. Beaveria says, When Morgan says, You know what it is, what is it exactly? Yes! Henry Binder says, Yo, Scotty G, you know when Morgan said, I'm not right, but that doesn't make me wrong, which drug were you taking? Because I need to be on that ASSASAAP! Henry, my man, how can you accuse me of partaking in such illegal activities? The only drugs that I need is the warmth and love of my billions of fans around the world. Insane, says Scotty, my guy. How do you make fear such an amazing and interesting show? Also, what are you on? Well, my pal, when you have such a genius mind as me, these things just come naturally to you. Also, why does everyone seem to think that I'm taking some kind of narcotics? Do I look like a man who's on drugs? For goodness sake. The C Banana says, Scotty G, I'm a big fan. Have you ever watched an episode of Fear with Josh? I hear it's a fantastic show with terrific dialogue and produced by the most genius mind in television, and soon to be movies. Well, I don't know why, Josh always refused to watch Fear the Walking Dead with me, which is a kind of a shock because I know how much he loves the show. But I do agree with your second point, Fear is a phenomenal show, much more improved since I came on board. Dekuro Bodo says, can I have your beard? <laughs> No. Alex David. Hi, Scott. Can we expect you to drop your mixtape anytime soon? Wow. I thought you'd never ask. Play the music. I'm Scotty G, the baddest MC and the greatest showrunner in history. And Jungle Kang is a fraud and a hack. Everyone knows I was carrying The Walking Dead on my back. No sanctuary. I wrote that hit, she wrote Rockin' the Road, and that episode shit, I'm Scotty G. And I'm the baddest MC and the greatest showrunner in history. Rob Burt H says, Hey Scotty G, suggest a new badass villain to spice up fear. Well Robert, you are in for a treat my pal, because I am about to tease the upcoming villain for Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. Here we go! So in Season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead, a evil Rick from a parallel dimension, a Rick who killed Laurie and Shane when he found out they were cheating on him, and also killed Carl for some reason, travels to the world of Fear the Walking Dead. And my overall master plan is to have evil Rick meet good Rick in the upcoming Walking Dead movies. Doesn't that sound phenomenal? Phenomenal! Jake's Nation 98 says, Dear Scotty G, what are some tips for an up-and-coming franchise sabotager such as myself? My writing is pretty bad, but nowhere near as horrid as yours. Sincerely, Jakey G. Well, Jakey G, my old pal, I think you must have me confused with someone else. I'm not a franchise sabotager, I'm a franchise improverizer. But if you do really want to master the act of terrible writing, I suggest you contact the team at Disney behind the Star Wars sequel trilogy. They make me look like Shakespeare. Dillon Jenkins says, Dear Scotty G, how did you manage to create the masterpiece of season 8? Please come back and replace Angela Kang as showrunner before she ruins The Walking Dead. Oh, Dylan, my boy, the truth is sometimes you just have to let go and move on. Now, when I was showrunner of The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead was such a behemoth that it was not fair on the other shows and other creators. It got to the point where just every single TV station was just playing reruns of The Walking Dead all day, because everyone wanted to see that Tara episode over and over again. So me, being the humble, nice guy that I am, decided to step down. And now that is why we have the inferior and talentless Angela Kang on The Walking Dead. Gustavo Alfonso says, Scotty G, what have you done to be kicked out of South America? Well, I think my ban from South America is actually quite unfair. All I did was put a picture of me on Christ the Redeemer and renamed it Gimple the Leader. But for some reason, the Brazilians didn't like that. I, I don't get it. Dan H says, hi Scotty. 
big fan. What exactly do you do all day in the closet at Josh's house? It's gotta be hot in there. Well, the truth is, before that guy disappeared off the face of the planet, I spent an awful lot of time masturbating. A lot of time. I remember when Josh used to even bang on the cupboard and tell me to stop. Oh, the good old days. And in answer to your second question, yes, it was hot, but I was usually naked. Agent X17 says, Scotty G, why do you make every season or most episodes a setup episode or a setup season? Like, look at Breaking Bad Season 1 was a setup season and that had way more things happening and going on. Well, Agent X17, if you are even a real agent at all, do you know what the difference between Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead is? Hmm? Hmm? Anyone? Are any of you intellectually capable of answering that? No? Oh, well I'll tell you then. Breaking Bad is finished and The Walking Dead is not. And that means it's a bad show. If I was in charge of Breaking Bad, I would have stretched it out to 30 seasons, man. Just keep the show going at all costs. But these people, they are talentless and can't write, so that's why they finished it. Whereas me, a guy who can come up with incredible stories all the time, would have kept Breaking Bad going forever. I have zero respect for shows that value the viewer's time. That is insane. Just keep that show going, baby. Keep it going until your viewers are all dead and buried. You just gotta keep the story going on forever. A sorry Shepard says, Dear Scotty G, how could you make us completionists suffer from mediocre writing? You've made my man predatory depressed and rather down as well. Please can you go back to writing class to get back into the swing of things. Love me. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Asari. The only reason Predatory has been depressed lately is because he hasn't seen enough of Scotty G. Let's not twist things now. And a writing class? Are you insane? What a dumb suggestion. What could I have to learn from a writing class? I've never heard anything so stupid in my life. Next question is from Mr. Good Boy. It seems like we have an intelligent dog here asking a question, what is the list of countries you are not allowed to fly to considering your ban from the entire continent of South America? Well, technically the only country that I am still allowed in is North Korea. Me and Kim jong Unny boy go way back. Agent X17 says, Scotty G, why did you kill Madison and ruin Alicia Clark's character arc and why ruin Carl's character arc in season 8? Why make The Walking Dead become a charity show about life matters and an ad let you see on TV? It might as well be an ad. Agent X17, not you again. I should have done a one question per person rule. Anyway, firstly, Madison and Alicia suck. We all knew that. I asked the fans what they wanted and they said more Morgan, so that's what I gave them. Everyone just wants to see a show about Morgan helping people. The truth is, The Walking Dead is way too depressing, man. Where's the heart? Where's the love? Come on! And as for your question about Carl, well, I'm not even sure who he actually is. Warren Stampe says, Scotty G, why do you think arty filming techniques, e.g. season 8, will make up for horrid writing. For example, Quentin Tarantino-esque character headings, chopping up timelines, endless face close-ups, far too long philosophical monologues, ridiculously dark lighting, and cheap cliffhangers. Well, Find out the answer to that question next time. See what I did there? That was actually a good joke. Anyway, let's answer the question. You clearly don't understand the basics of genius filmmaking. You need to zoom in and out as much as often. Change up the colors. Cut to title screens whenever you can. You gotta keep the audience on their toes, buddy. That's what makes a great show. Not great plots, not great characters, great effects. Richard Morenci says, Hi Scott, I really displeased talking to you. Excuse me? Anyhow, I want to know what the hell you are putting in the glasses of AMC's board of direction members during your brainstorming sections of a new season of Fear the Walking Dead. They have to take some strong stuff to accept the inept storylines of the past two seasons. Wow, Richard, you see, the trick is to fire the entire board, then you don't have to answer to anyone. Max O'Callaghan asks me, Scotty G, which season of Game of Thrones is your favorite? Well, it's obviously the fantastic season 8. What an ending! Ryan Elliott says, Hey, Scott, were you a 1060s hipster? 
Damn right I was. Aaron Nino says, what are Scott's thoughts on The Walking Dead's third spin-off show coming this spring? I think the show is going to be fantastic. In fact, I envision by the end of next year, we will have plans in place for 50 The Walking Dead TV shows. The Walking Dead will never stop, baby. Darkness Demon 8 says to me, Scott, how much beer do you drink when you write a Walking Dead episode? Enough to know that you're not a true fan. John Miller says, the Scott Gimple joke is a little played out in my opinion. Your videos by themselves are funny enough. That's not a question, John. What's wrong with you? South LDN says, ask Scotty G on his thoughts on Scott in Alexandria. Well, Scott in Alexandria is by far the best character on the show. If I were in charge, I would dedicate 10 entire episodes just to his backstory. And that is it, people. All your questions have been answered. I am such an amazing man when it comes to treating my fans in such a great way. And I hope you all donate to me generously now for answering your questions. Anyway, I'm sure I shall see you all very soon. I love you. Oi, who's in there? I can hear you talking. Oh my god, Joshy Poo! You're back.